New on Live at Daybreak this morning. Planning to take your kids on a trip before the school year begins? Well, for many, getting on a plane can be a traumatic experience. But this morning, our consumer investigator Kristen Byrne shows you how some airports are trying to calm nervous passengers. There's a national trend right now where canines are being used to help ease the stress of air travel. They're not service dogs, but they are just as amazing. Welcome to Concourse D at Miami International Airport, where the D stands for dogs. Debbie Snyder and her best friend Kelly Rounds created the Miami Hound machine while working with therapy dogs like Abby, Debbie's six-year-old golden doodle. We immediately recognized that the airport's needs and its customers' needs completely aligned with the health benefits of the therapy dog. Studies show simply petting a dog lowers a person's blood pressure. They lessen stress and anxiety. They decrease feelings of loneliness and boredom. They provide comfort. With 44.5 million passengers going through Miami International Airport a year, officials jumped at the chance to enlist these volunteer canine ambassadors. We're going to Honduras. It's a two-hour flight. These pet-loving passengers enjoyed a little doggy distraction during their layover. They are very nice with people, like they understand them, and they always try to make them happy. Others say the pups remind them of home. I want to go home now and cuddle with my puppies. <laughs> Volunteer Bruce LaCour says his three-year-old Australian Shepherd Donovan has a knack for making people feel calm. If I had a nickel for every time someone said, oh, look at those eyes, oh my God, those eyes. For, you know, five minutes, ten minutes, they're transported to a different time. So far, 12 airports around the country have used therapy dogs as part of their customer service. At Milwaukee Mitchell International, canine companions have been used before, but on a limited basis, like when military members are traveling around the holidays. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne.